Cherries, it's Jessica here, and in today's video I will be showing you how you can create your own realistic leaves using crepe paper, acrylic paints, and ink. I am using the festive pack of crepe paper from Sizzix and cutting off some chunks so I can start die cutting them. And I wanted to use crepe paper for this because it has more texture and it's a little bit thinner and it seems more delicate than what regular paper is. So I think that makes it more like an actual leaf. For the leaf prints, I'm using the decorative leaf framelits and also some leaf print thinlets. And it's really just to get the basic leaf shape. Um, the decorative leaf framelits also comes with stamps that I'll use later on, but for right now I just want basic leaf shape cut out. The photo that I'll be scrapping using all of these leaves is a fall photo with a bunch of fall leaves, so they're all red and orange, and so I'm cutting out a range of colors and you see I've got even greens or bright red and I'm not really worried about that because the color of the actual crepe paper is just the undertone so I like having the greens in there and the browns and then I'm going over it with acrylic paint and that's really what will make the color. I'm using one of these paint applicators because they have the flatter uh, tops so I can more easily just graze the top of these leaves and I still have the color of the paper in the grooves of the leaves. I pulled out six different colors of oranges and I've got yellow and even a light pink in there and I just grab a little bit on this brush and dab it on and I'm not applying these in any specific way but just to get the paint on there and change up the color a bit. And now I am using the Merlot ink pad from Catherine Pooler, and this is one of my favorite ink pads, especially for doing something like this, because I really like how juicy it is, and I can grab a lot of the ink, and I am just going around the edges of these leaves. And I think this is really what brings them to life and makes them look realistic, because making the edges darker is more like an actual leaf. And although I just use this one color on all of the leaves, on each leaf it looks a little bit different because uh, some of them have the green undertone that's mixing with the red and it makes it a little more brown, or the orange ones, it just makes it a darker red. So I just went through all of the leaves and did that. And you can already see them on the side here, how realistic they're looking. Now I'm starting to work on my paper to start building my layout. I wanted to use this orange 49 and market background paper to make a border for my page. So I cut out the center because I knew I still want to use that paper for something else. And then I made my front paper, the white one, 11 by 11 so I could have a half inch border on all sides. I used that inside paper of the orange paper to cut out some more leaves and this is where I'm using the stamp part of the decorative leaf stamps and I think it just adds a little bit of whimsy and these are the leaves that clearly don't look realistic but they add a little bit more light color and fun to the page. And now that all of my leaves are complete it's time to start building my layout. Uh, I thought it would be cool if I created them in a wreath shape, so that's what I'm going with, and I'm just layering them on, I'm trying to mix up their colors, like not have two of the same colors right next to each other, and then I added the stamps leaves on top of that. And when gluing, I just used my favorite wet glue, and I didn't need a ton of glue, just a little bit to get them stuck down. Now that they're all stuck down, it's time to add some splatter because I love splattering. First I'm using some mica spray and then I'll also go in with some white paint splatter. I really like the mica spray first because 
it added some splatter even onto the white page and that's where it showed up the most and then the white splatter with the white acrylic paint showed up most on the leaves to give them a little bit more of a mixed media leafy look. With almost all of my mixed media projects, especially if I'm doing something nature-y like leaves or flowers, I think adding some speckles just really brings a lot of life to it. I backed my photo with some of that light orange as well, and if you saw when I was working on this white paper, I added some foam around the edges just so that it would pop up a little bit from its border. And now it's time to start embellishing. Originally I was planning on keeping the embellishing pretty light, but as I started adding to it I was liking it more and more. So I'm using some puffy stickers from the Harvest Market for my title of Crisp Air. And then I had my Simply the Blast cardstock stickers sitting there on my desk. So I was like, well, some of those colors and sayings go well with this as well. So then I started adding those. And I still had some more of the Memory Lane puffy stickers out as well. So I added some more leaves to my page. And I was really liking the look of this nice full wreath with images in it and words. And I thought it just carried your eye around the page. And then I grabbed all of my enamel dots. I like to keep all of my enamel dots together and hoard them a little bit. So then when I'm doing a layout, I can find all of the colors that I want. So I went over and added quite a few enamel dots to this as well. And I think that also plays with the speckles and the dots and helping this look like there's a lot of movement and life in this piece. Here's a finished look at the page. I hope this inspired you and gave you some ideas on how to make some realistic looking leaves. Thanks for watching.